you create major energetic blocks and cut off source energy flowing through you when you cyclically return to making negative choices around the divine qualities or the divine energies that pour through you. In this video, I'm going to talk about recognizing the negative choices that you're making, how they block the energy, and how to change that. Hey guys, Michael Hodge here with You Transformed. One thing my dad and I have recognized, we work together in You Transformed and we have our, our students, they get their soul design charts done. And if you don't know about soul design, definitely check that out. It's an Akashic Records reading where you can learn about your soul's unique energies. And we found a very common theme that people have the most prevailing blocks, restrictions, obstacles, challenges in their life. Whenever they're in the negative choice or the negative polarity of their main divine qualities. When I talk about divine qualities, these are our divine gifts. We have all of them. We've classified it into eight divine gifts. We have all of them running through us. But what we found whenever we do soul design charts, and that it rings true, like it ring, rang true so much whenever I got my own chart, I'm like, wow, divine manifestation and divine love are my two primary qualities. And I recognized that I was living in the negative polarity, the negative choice side of these. Let me give you an example. So divine love souls, which again, everyone has divine love pouring through them, but we're talking about a specific gift um, that is a little bit of a stronger energy. And in this way, source energy is pouring this through us. By the way, before I forget to show you this nice diagram. So what I've got here is source or God or the universe at the top. And then there's this channel, this conduit, this pipe, whatever you want to call it. That's you. And that's where the energies are pouring down through, from the divinity, from the divine, your higher self, through God, whatever you want to call it, right? Animating you, pouring your uniqueness through you. Everything in the universe is made of energy. But what frequency and what type of energy is passing through you? There's a uniqueness to that. And then I, I drew the world down here, the earth, because we are interacting in this world right now, in this earth. So that means you have a connection. How, how do your energies then pour out into the world, into all of your relationships, into your work, into all of your interactions? And on this one here, I drew M and L, manifestation and love. Those are my two primary qualities. So what I found is that the negative choice side of divine love could be a couple of things. It could be not loving, like cutting off your love because you're afraid. It could be being afraid to go all in. Like, oh, I'm gonna wait till this person loves me back. I'm gonna wait to make sure that this is really safe. Then I'll give someone a hug. Then I'll be like really nice and open. Then I'll wear my heart on the sleeve. Another thing I found is being so loving and so open and re regardless of what I get in return. So I've been in relationships in the past where I was so loving and so giving, and I didn't get that mirrored back to me. But I'm like, oh wow, what's wrong with me? I'm not showing up the right way. I need to be even more loving. I need to be even more giving. Ah, what's happening? And I kept trying and trying and trying, but I was in an environment, I was in a relationship where it wasn't being re reciprocated back to me. And it's not loving to yourself to continue that situation. So this is a place where you have to put a barrier up or make a decision or speak your truth. You know, you might have a thing where you you're such a loving person and you listen to people. They'll talk to you for hours on the phone or in person about their problems and you're like, I don't want to make them feel bad. I don't want to like cut them off. It's not loving to you. So that's a negative choice in the divine love energy by not being loving to yourself. And then another one here, yeah, let's talk about another one, divine communication. So divine communication, that's the energy of being able to express your truth through words, verbally, or written truth, or whatever it is, however you're communicating, right? And one negative choice is being inauthentic. So speaking a certain way, just so that people like you, trying to fit in, even though that's not really the authentic you, that's gonna create a block within you. You're gonna start getting frustrated. You're gonna cut off that source energy that's pulsing through you, that's coming down through your energy. So that's what we're talking about here, recognizing in your life. What we typically find is that we'll come up against the same type of choice over and over and over again. And we might be making the quote unquote wrong choice. There's truly no wrong choice. Everything's for our benefit, right? We're learning always. 
but there could be a negative choice because if we take the other route, it might be a little bit harder. It might be based in love and not fear. It's going to require us to have faith and to really trust who we are and step into our mastery. You are a walking master in this life. You can choose that. So I've created a meditation called Rehearse Your New Choice. And this is an energetic way to practice and rehearse making the positive choice. So I want you to think right now about a time, a negative choice that you've been making as of late. Maybe every day, maybe it comes up every once in a while, a particular relationship and you handle it a certain way, a particular addiction it comes back in your weaker moments and you succumb to it, whatever it is. So notice what that negative choice is and remind yourself who you are. You're an infinite, loving, unlimited, powerful soul. You're greater than that, right? You're greater than that. And so just talking about it helps, paying, putting some attention on it, but doing the rehearse, your new choice meditation is very powerful because you're actually putting yourself in the place of the events that lead up to the choice. And then you choose positively and you feel that and you prepare yourself to make that decision before it comes to pass. Just like a professional sports player, maybe a basketball player, will visualize in their mind the perfect jump shot, the perfect free throw, before they ever move their body, before they ever move their arms. And it's been proven scientifically that this will increase your results. So it's the same thing energetically. So I just want you to take something from this video and I want you to take that you are more powerful than those negative choices. And recognizing them, shining the light of awareness on them, and knowing that that's cutting off your energy. When you make the positive choice, when you hang out in the positive polarity of your divine qualities, life is easier, it's happier. It might not look just like someone else though. That's important, you're unique. So your decision, the way you live your life will look different. If you're trying to copycat someone else, you will create blocks. So enjoy the meditation, and I'll see you in the next video.